Yo, what's going on guys? It's the Beast Pokeballer here as always and welcome to the next Wi-Fi battle on the channel now today for you guys We got a live Wi-Fi battle against my friend Diego aka mug of bacon if uh, from twitch I will link his Twitter down in the description below guys and today we are doing a mixed OU U U type -ish thing uh, I'm just gonna say mixed OU for argument's sake. We're gonna use it five because I don't even know what that is and I'll go over the team real quick. We have a Bisharp, a Mega Metacham. We got that little little duck down there. We got a Porygon 2. We got a Florgis along with our Infernape. And last but not least, our Milotic. So, this will be fun. Let's see how this is going to go, guys. I'm really excited. I know Diego is a really good UU battler. Uh, so, this will be fun. This will be fun. So, he's rocking the Primeape. Ooh, going down in tears. He's got the Pharaoh. Thorn, the Vaporeon, the Minchino, or Sinchino, I don't know, it's the little mouse dude. Uh, he's got his own, his own little, uh, his own little fat duck. And then last but not least, he is rocking the Gengar. Now, predicting the leads, it's probably going to be with the Vaporeon, the, the fat duck dude, or the Pharaoh Seed. So I think it's uh, probably safest to start with Jojo Mojo, aka our... Infernape. So let's do that. And then in the back, we'll pack Grace, Pollen, Bulby, Bisharp, without a nickname, and Mr. Miyagi. Now, here we go, guys. I'm excited. I'm excited for this battle. Uh, I know Diego's a great battle. Let me make sure Skype is on DND. There we go. Alrighty, boys. Alrighty. Our friend Jacob's online. He's going to lead with the Vaporeon. Nice lead for him. Uh, probably predicting my lead with the Infernape, so we led with the worst thing possible. Luckily, I think I'm back in the U-turn. Let's check before we make any mistakes. We're not. Ooh. All right, well, I'm going to switch out. He's probably going to go for the Scald. Uh, so I think it'll be best for us to go into Grace because definitely can't touch us. Uh, but then again, this thing might be carrying the Toxic, and I don't really want to take that. Uh, but I think in the end is probably our safest bet. You know, we can't really touch it, but we can toxic it, toxic it ourselves. Uh, so yeah, let's go into Grace. And I, I honestly, if, if they go for the Scald and burn Grace, I actually want that. Like, please, Diego, please go for Scald here. Because uh, we are back in the Marvel scale, and I want my defense to be sky high. That'd be nice. Yes, please, please, please. Burn? 30%? No. All right, that's fine. Uh, we're going to take our leftover recovery. That did absolutely nothing at all. So I know he probably can't touch us. So I think it's safe to just go for that Toxic. This music is pretty rocking. I'm not going to lie. Let's go for the Toxic right here. What's he going to go into? I should take a picture of this team. I messed up. That's okay, though. That is okay. Now, remember, guys, if you could leave a like on this video, that'd be super awesome for you. Uh, so, yeah, Toxic's going to go off. I don't know. He might go for Sub or something here. Unless he has Toxic himself. He's going to go for the Scald again. Alright, that doesn't really do anything to us. You know, I, again, I think he's trying to fish for the burn. Uh, which, again, I, I, I want. Please burn me. Uh, even though Scald will do more damage, it's not going to do any damage that's worth doing at all. So I'm going to go for the Ice Beam. Predicting maybe some random switch or... I don't know, I just feel like Ice Beam is a good play. It's a better play. There's no reason for him to stay in, so he's probably going to switch into what, though? What, what was his Mega? He's going to go for the Protect. All right. He's kind of just stalling himself here, really. All right, he see, I think he's trying to see... I think he's going to go for the Scald again. Which I'm completely fine with. You know, Toxic is going to build up after a while. As you guys can see, it's already amounting to something little after his leftovers so I'm gonna stay in still I think he's just really trying to get that burn I'll just recover no need to waste my uh actually recover is kinda pointless eh, it's okay he's gonna withdraw alright so free recover we could've gotten an ice beam uh, he's gonna go to ducky which is his Porygon alright you know I wouldn't mind toxicing this thing but it probably has the thunderbolt uh, now it has marble scale do not want to toxic it not gonna happen not going to be toxicing this thing. Alrighty. Uh, so it's probably going to be going for the Thunderbolt here. Do we have any ground types? No, we don't. Um, let's go into Pollen real quick. 
So I know we can eat whatever he's gonna throw at us, and I think we're carrying the aromatherapy. So force comes worse, we can throw that out. Uh, Tri-Attack will probably do good damage, but not good like we really need to. And we're gonna avoid the attack, that's really good. Um, yeah, we, we do have that. So let's, let's fire off a Moonblast here. I think that would be our best bet. Just to get a little bit of damage off. Maybe lower the special attack. I know people around Porygon 2 is normally more defensive than special defensive. So that's gonna actually do nice damage and lower the special attack, which is really good. I was getting it for the Toxic, which, you know, really isn't that bad of a thing. Uh, even though I am carrying the Toxic on my floor, just I'm not going to hit him back with it. It just is not worth it in any way possible. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to Aromatherapy real quick just to show him that he's really wasting his time. I could have wished here. Uh, but his attacks really aren't going to be doing much. He's going to withdraw. Nice. Yeah, so Aromatherapy is going to go off, and that's going to be good. He's going to go into his Ferrothorn now. That's cool. That's fine by me. Uh, but yeah, the aromatherapy is going to go off, and he's probably like, oh, I just wasted turns. So I got that for free. That's good. That's good. We got the aromatherapy off for free. Um, and we're almost at full health. Now, he's probably going to go for the rocks here. I'm not going to lie, but really, I can't do anything about that. Uh, so I'm just going to go into Jojo Mojo. So I can uh, throw him out with the fire punch and set up my own rocks. He didn't have an Espeon, so I can freely... Freely, freely, freely. Um, set up my own rocks. Uh, who, who, do we have a Focus Sash user? I think we do. Who was it? It was... Oh, we don't. Cool. Um, yeah, that's really not the worst thing. Uh, Mojo Jojo will take a little bit of damage from it, but not too much. Yeah, so we'll get off our own Stealth Rocks here. Also, we're Focus Sash, so whatever he has to... Th oh, wait, this is the... The... Our, our Jojo Mojo is actually the Focus Sashed one. That's okay. Not a big deal. Uh, especially since we're in already. And if he goes into something that we can hit super effective with, like, Thunder Punch or whatever, then I'll do that. I believe we're Iron Fist, so that's also good. Alright, I think we're going to stay in against this thing and try to attack it. Uh, especially since, you know, our Focus Sash... Uh, is it really worth it though? I kind of want to save the fire punch. Really, at this point, we could go back into Vaporeon, or not? Uh, we can go into our own Stally Water type. <sighs> Still have Ice Beam on Bulby. I forgot to forgot to switch that out. I really wanted to have Thunderbolt. We could go into to to we could go into Florges or Grace here. Or Balby, but I don't really want too much. Cause we do have two really nice special defense tanks. Uh, what do we do guys? Let's I think the safest play is just going to Grace early. I mean, we can also you know, let's just stay in. And Thunder Punch. Let's just do it. Because, guys, I like to live life on the edge. And he's not going to expect this. Iron Fist boosted. That's going to do... Alright, that's good. He's going to use Heal Bell. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like we got a free turn. So they're cured of poisoning and all. But, uh... Two more Thunder Punches and you're kind of out here, man. Sorry to tell you. Sorry, Vaporeon. Out for the protect. That's fine by me, really. It is. Really, it is. He's gonna get more leftover recovery, but that's really not gonna do him too well. Two two thunder punches is enough to take him out for sure. He's gonna withdraw. Nice. So we actually get to keep him. I was gonna end a Ferrothorn, like that'd be terrible. Yeah, I could have gone for the Fire Punch. I was honestly considering it, but I didn't in the end. I don't know why he'd want to, like, oh, okay. Like, you got to eat the Thunder Punch, but now what, man? I just freely get to go for the Fire Punch, in all honesty. Rocky Helmet, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, he's probably gonna switch here, but there's no point in not going for Fire Punch. 
Oh, wow, he's going to sack the Ferrothorn. That's actually pretty big. That's a really big uh, defensive threat. I'm just gone now. Uh, that, that did do a lot of damage, but now we can honestly freely lose Infernape, and I wouldn't even be upset about it. Now he can kill us with Vaporeon, but he's still going to take the Thunder Punch, which is... That's a lot. That is a lot. And we can easily go into someone else to finish off the Vaporeon. What you going to do, Diego? He's going to do Spooky, which is going to be his Gengar. Alright, I see you. That's a pretty good move. Uh, Gengar is a special attacker, but he's also a poison type and also gets Thunderbolt. Uh, what I want to do is... What Pokemon matches up best against Gengar? Bisharp could do really well. Uh, rocks are gone, so that breaks any potential Sash. I'm almost positive he's faster than us. He's probably faster than everything on the team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Mojo Jojo die. And uh, I'll just go for the Fire Punch. No big deal. He's going to Shadow Ball. It's going to take us out, right? We will get a free switch into Bisharp, but uh, he probably has the Will-O-Wisp, doesn't he? He's life-orbed. Alright, what I'll do is I'll go into Grace here. No, and then he can't really hit us. Uh, Thunderbolt will probably do good damage, but not the best. So, that's okay. I will just fire off a skull, burning anything that wants to come in. Now, if he switches into the Porygon and gets our Marvel scale, that'll be a no good time if we burn him. When you get a Toxic on that thing, not with my logic. He's going to go for Sludge Bomb. He's going to stay in. That's going to do good damage, but not enough to take us out in two turns. Um, and this Scald's going to fire off, and I, I doubt it will kill, right? Yeah, but it's going to do good damage. And we get to burn ourselves. That's awesome. Really, it is. Uh, so this turn, what I'm going to do is recover, just to get some HP back and let this thing slowly whittle down. Maybe he's carrying the uh, the Destiny Bond, so really, there's no point not going for recover. I think he'll die this turn anyways, so we'll take that out. We'll find out from those. If he has Thunderbolt, then I guess we're probably dead. But he might not be carrying, it might be Dazzling Gleam, Sludge Bomb, Will-O-Wisp, I don't know. With this thing gone, we can also freely, like... We can go into our physical attackers fine and not worry getting the burn off. He's going for the sludge bomb. That's not going to be enough. I really don't think it is, and it's not. He's going to get the poison off, though. That's actually good for us. You know why? Because now he actually cannot toxic us. And he cannot burn us. And we get our Marvel scale boost, which means we'll be able to eat defensive hits so well. That is great. Our leftovers are going to come off. And uh, that's honestly a good time. And also, we do have the aromatherapy in the back if we do need it so desperately. Uh, poison will add up over time. So, what are you gonna go into next? He's gonna go into Fab. That's gonna be the Machino now. This thing has Bullet Seed 100%. 100%. Not gonna doubt it. So, what can eat up a Bullet Seed best? Uh, I'll just go into Bulby. Maybe this thing is King's Rock. Oh, Diego, I'd kill you. <laughs> if we Mach Punch would be so nice. <laughs> this thing's either like Choice Scarfed, maybe. it's If it's Focus Sash, then rip. Uh, I'll go into Bulby here. Probably eat these things pretty well. I know this thing doesn't have the greatest physical attack or speed. Otherwise, it would be much higher tier. Because Skill Link is a very good ability. He's going to fire off the Bullet Seed, right? Oh my god, we got Skill Link. Oh yeah. Yeah, pull the seed. There we go. We should be able to eat this really well. Yeah, that does nothing at all. Nothing. Literally nothing. That was a crit. Wow. <laughs> Bulby, you monster. I hope in uh, Gen 7, when that comes years later, I hope that they fix and, like, some attacks like pull the seed just look stupid. Alright. Uh. I'm gonna safely go for a try attack here. Does this thing get a fighting attack? Oh, it has knockoff. That's depressing. Critical hit. What's up with all your crits, Diego? That's our biggest defensive threat. Kind of rendered useless in a way. Burn! Hey, LMAO. That thing is also useless unless he wants to get the heal bell off. I'm gonna recover. 
I am going to recover. <sighs> we're still good. We're still a good Pokemon, you know, without the Eviolite. But we're not the greatest. He's going to switch out. Okay. Into Vaporeon? Yeah. All right, he's going to go for the Heal Bell. I honestly think it's kind of useless because they're at such low health. And, uh... It's obviously not Scarf, so we can outspeed it. Poor I might throw off the wish here, though. That'd be annoying. This is why I want Thunderbolt on this thing, guys. Uh, I'll just stay in and try attack. He's gonna go for the heal bell, right? Protect. Okay. getting the leftovers that's okay by me I suppose uh yeah I'll just fire off another try attack it's the best I can do really he's gonna go for the wish ew let's get a critical hit burn or something paralyze let's paralyze or freeze I'll take that oh oh we did get the critical hit Ooh, ooh, kill him all right so obviously the protect is gonna come this turn so I'm gonna switch in to Let's go. I have Thunder Punch on this thing. Don't kill my Mega. I am playing a Risky with the Mega. I do that so often, and I always end up losing my Mega so early. If you guys saw the last battle, we lost our Swampert so quick. Spoiler. Failed. Oh, we're playing a risky, boys. We are playing a risky. I want you to please protect here. Scout me. Please scout me. Scout me. Say I don't have Thunder Punch. Sorry for my chair in the background, guys. I know it's always annoying, but uh, nothing much I can really do about it, unfortunately. And he doesn't scout us. Uh, he probably just went for the Skull. Massive damage! Oh my god. He's going to go for the Heal Bell. That is so great. Really, that is so great. Oh, that is so good. Uh, no point in going for that HJK, because uh, he might protect. Just to get the lefties or whatever. But Thunder Punch is literally huge right here. Medicham coming in hot. That is like the last burn threat, really, on the team. Now, like, Gengar's gone. Uh, I know we can hit his Porygon so hard with this thing. Probably one hit kill it, in all honesty. Probably. He's going to withdraw. That's fine, dude. No point in really saving it anymore. What's he going to go into? He's going to go into Ducky. Which, uh, yeah, dude. I don't... Mm, I wouldn't even do that. Does this thing have Protect? Does this thing have Protect? He's going to trace our pure power. Oh my god. Pure power Ducky. Uh, but that's fine. This is even going to do possibly enough to two hit. No, not enough. But it's okay. High jump kick. Honestly, Zen Headbutt's really the safer move here. It will kill, right? I don't want to miss and shit. Ah, we'll do it. Whatever, man. We connect! That's a dead ducky right there, guys. Metacham is the utmost of power. I love Mega Metacham. I love it to death. Probably the greatest Mega, in my opinion. Does so well. Such a hard-hitting sweeper. I recommend this Mega to anyone. Uh, if you want to play defensive, then go with Venusaur in OEU. Uh, but if you want to go with just straight up killing power, no setup needed, Metacham is what you want. So Diego, what do you have left? You have your Primeape. That's cute. That is cute. <sighs> Dude, just Zen Headbutt straight up. Thunder Punch probably will kill, but you know. In the back, all he has is the Minchino and Vaporeon, guys. I think we actually have this locked down really well. Uh, but again, guys, definitely check out Diego's Twitter in the link below. That'll be pretty tight. He is a good friend of mine. I have him on Skype. Great guy, great guy. Comes to my streams. Very nice dude, very nice dude. Also a very good battler. I don't know if you guys just heard my stomach growl, but I'm kind of hungry. <laughs> Come 
on, Diego. We're gonna hit up that Zen head, but it's gonna connect. That should be GG. That is GG. The bullet punch will uh, get the Minchino or Sinchi, whatever that thing is called. And uh, the Thunder Punch will secure us the win against the Vaporeon. That should be it, guys. Fab, there's nothing you can do. There is nothing you can do. Bullet Punch is going to take him out. Critical hit! That That's not cool. <laughs> Uh, but that's fine. It's whatever. But guys, I never miss high jump kicks. One day, I'm going to really need it, like, NPA finals. And it's going to, like, make me win, and I'm going to miss it, and I'm probably going to cry. That'll be a day. Um, Vaporeon's at, like, 0 HP. There's no point in protecting, man. Uh, he might, though. Yeah, he's going to protect. That's fine. That's good. Do you guys have, like, a bad habit where you put your stylus in your mouth too much? I do that way too much. We played it risky with the Mega this time, and it actually paid off so well. That's why I do it. Some, it's like a high-risk, high-reward type thing. But uh, that is going to be the battle, guys. Taking out the Vaporeon right there. Now, I hope you all did enjoy that battle. We got a nice little 502, which is, uh, that's pretty good. Um, but Diego is a really good battler. I definitely plan to have him on uh, another time. We'll do, we'll, we'll go on his terms and go full UU next time. I think that'll be fair. Uh, I just had a lot of UU battles recently. So I thought it'd be nice to do like a little, at least OU mixed. Uh, so that's going to be it, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed the battle. Rate, comment, subscribe, leave a like. Hit up Diego, my man's on Twitter. Hit up me on Twitter for uh, constant updates. We almost had to have 500 follows on the Twitter. So yeah, uh, also check out my Twitch. Everything in the description, guys. Links are there. Links are there. If you guys don't read the description, you really should. Uh, there's a lot of great, great material in there. That's the video, guys. And as always, let the outro roll.